guys, Miranda Patron here with you. Uh, today I'm doing something a little bit different. Arteza, a company um, that sells tons of amazing art products, the mini brushes I use are from there, um, sent me these markers to try, the paint pens. So I am going to pop these open and take a look at them today and also see what types of things they work on. So they say non-toxic, they have replaceable tips, it's the same idea, it's the shake, press down on the tip and then draw, so let's see, let's take another one out here, so this one I tried a bit so you can see, Ooh. They seal really well. Um, so what I did was shake it and push down on the tip, which I'll do with this purple one here. And these are the thicker nibs on here. So you kind of have to just pump it a couple of times after you shake it. And then the paint will start to kind of come down through the shaft here onto the nibs. So you can see here it's starting to come out. And then once it soaks up the whole tip, you can start painting with it. Ooh, I like this purple. Look at that. So that is nice, nice. So if I use it on an angle, I can have a finer line. If I do perpendicular, I have a thicker line. So that's good to know as well. Let's see, there's some other things. Oh, look at that. All right, so this is a box of 20 colors. It's their premium line, and they also send more tips. So these ends have a beveled end for like the chisel, and then it looks like these ones are actually the fine point. So I didn't even have to worry about having it on an angle. You could switch the tip out to a fine point tip. Let's take them out. And it looks like there's probably 20 in here, so there's a replaceable tip for every single color in here. So that is super handy. And these are so you can grip it, I'm assuming, so you don't have to touch everything when you take the tip out off of this one. You can just pull the tip out and then put this one in. I'm not going to do it right now, but when you want to switch them out. So that is a handy feature as well. So I kind of have an array of things that I work on. I like to paint on mugs, I like to paint on canvas. There's tons of things I like to paint on. So we're going to try a few different canvases here and see what these look like. Alrighty, so they even have a titanium white in this. So I'm interested to see how this shows up on a black canvas here. Ooh, it actually covers nicely. Then we can make dots. <laughs> so we all know too that my laundry is apparently always going and that's a good thing right let's keep it clean but really what I was gonna say <laughs> is that um, a lot of us like the sunset colors oranges yellows reds but there's uh, quite a few companies actually that have had difficulty in getting paint to cover really nicely with the oranges and stuff like that so I wow that's actually not bad I was excited to test this out to see. Oh, and this one is fluorescent pink. So you get a really good variety in this pack. All right, so these are actually coming out pretty nicely. I just want to say this black paint that I'm painting on here is, it's been on the market for a little bit. It's new to me, but 
I would not recommend it for a background for these markers only because just the type of paint this is is not working out. Uh, you'll see it's getting on the markers and I just kind of tried to thin it down with water but it's a work in progress <laughs> so I'm still experimenting with this paint just so you know. I'll put the link in the description, or not a link, rather the name in the description just so you know not to use this for your background with these markers, but these are actually pretty decent, but I have to just kind of wipe them off here to get the black. You can see in the dots, there's a couple until the black comes off, thankfully, but I would not use this black color for a background. but the coverage is good still with these markers. We'll definitely try these on other things besides this background. But you can see it's actually pretty, pretty good. So let me see. I have a normal black matte background here. Let's try it on that and see what we get, see if it comes up onto the marker. Nope, that one's fine. So this is the Deco Art Matte Black. I just said I wasn't going to mention other products, but just so you know, what you have at home will work, mix and match with things. But Arteza does have their own acrylic paint line as well. I'm starting to get some of those. They have a craft acrylic. They have metallics that I'm getting to sample as well. Check them out. So I'll be posting more of those. I've used their metallics in the past on my Stingray that I did last summer. My Stingray family. So I know their metallics pretty well. And I was able to actually thin those down with a medium and still the mica, the whatever it is that they put in that, I think it's mica, shone through. It was super shiny. It was great. So these are covering pretty well. Let's do a nice big yellow dot here and see. So this is fluorescent yellow, which usually in the past and other times I've had fluorescent markers, it is. It's multiple coats. I mean, it's a little thinner. But I'm sure I could tap a little more paint onto that and not have to do another coat. So let's try one of these awesome Santorinis. These are from Cap Couriers. Oh, look at that. It looks so nice, that magenta on there. Sorry, I get a little excited about paints, but especially when they work really nicely. So it goes on really smooth. There's no catching of the nibs, which I have had a problem with with some markers. It will catch the tip and then the next thing you know it's splattering paint which is mildly frustrating because then you're having to fix something. Yeah, see this one has great coverage and this is the Vermilion. Whoopsie. Fluorescent pink. Oh, I still got a little black in it from my first one. There we go. And shiny, look at shiny. Let's go with some nice fluorescent yellow. Again, that black. So that might just be a black I can't use for a background with these, but that is not a big deal. It's a minor, minor issue. We're here to talk about Arteza. Yes. Oh, loving it. So let's see. This one is Van Dyke Brown. I don't know that I've ever used a brown. Let's see what that... Oh, dark. Oh, so dark and rich. Can make a little cup of coffee. Can you tell what's on my mind for my day? <laughs> so funny. All right. Those work nicely. Let me grab a glass ornament here to try because we all know these are important around the holidays right everyone's making ornaments and 
They're great gifts. So if you have an easy way to control the paint that you're putting on your ornaments, why not, right? Let's see. Maybe we'll make a nice little snowflake on this guy. <gasps> Ooh, it does look good. So I'm obviously just playing around, but I just wanted to kind of gauge, oh, you can make dots, gauge what kind of product this was. Arteza, Arteza asked me to try it out. And I'm kind of excited. So now the big test I want to see is going to be, can we varnish over it, right? That's one of our big, big questions is, can we varnish? over the markers, can we use them for guidelines, and then at least in my my mind that's what I would want to know. And I shouldn't have done this with white paper as a background because now y'all can't see, right? Uh, let's grab one of my hexagons here. So look at that. A lovely, lovely, lovely little flowery design, but that was all done with the titanium white. And it's got great coverage. It went on smooth. I mean, it's on glass, so it's going to go smooth. But they're quick drying. It says they have low odor. I don't smell. I don't smell hardly anything. Oh, maybe a little vinegary. That might even be my hands. I cooked a Creole sauce. So <laughs> they're water-based. Oh, and they're UV resistant. Yes. Blendable and acid-free. Oh, I didn't even try to blend them. Oh, where's my stone? Bring this baby back. I wonder if they're blendable on stone. Let's see. I very rarely use paint markers, so this is kind of a new venture for me. I know there's a lot of people out there who use them, but it's very rarely something that I use. Well, they kind of bleed into one another. It's probably going to take a practice and a round of talking to them about how would I blend? Oh yeah, there we go. Never mind. Maybe use a brush or a sponge brush or your finger because who doesn't love to finger paint? Oh, that's pretty. That looks like alcohol inks almost. And that's from an acrylic paint. I like it. I like it. I'm kind of excited. Look at that. Nice three color bright shiny. And like I said, they're UV resistant, so if they're not going to fade in the sun, that's on here. Their guarantee is if the product doesn't perform properly, please feel free to contact them for replacements. So they have a guarantee for you, so you won't be disappointed. They also have a place on their website you can go, but there's a code back here for helpful tips. And then they also have a coupon code right on their products, so you can get 20% off coupon. But I have to say I'm kind of excited about these. All right, next stop, let's grab my little stone here. Wow, it dries pretty quick, except the red. I just stuck my finger in because that was a little thicker. But this dries pretty quick, so let's talk varnish in a second here. Okay, so I have three of my main varnishes that I use, and I'm going to test them out. I let this dry for about an hour now, so it's dry to the touch. And I wanted to see too, I let it dry for about 15 minutes, I wanted to see if I could write over it without having them smear into one another, and that worked too. So, I use brush on gloss, varnish usually, on almost everything, to be honest. And so if you guys use sprays, obviously you're going to have a different experience on this because you're not actually touching the item that you're putting varnish on. So a spray might work differently, and I can't speak for other brands, but the brands that I normally use, this one is Liquitex, and it's a brush on. Oh, it's not smearing at all. Look at that. So that's a good sign for these markers because in the past I've had other ones that smear after 24 hours, sometimes three days, I let the markers dry and they still smeared. Very, very unhappy with those projects. All right, 
So this is another gloss varnish that I'm going to do on the other side here. And that is not streaking either or bleeding. Let's leave it for a minute and see. So one of the things too with the brush varnishes is, is you don't want to overwork them. So that's a good thing to not keep brushing it, brushing it, brushing over the same spot. So I try to just make a couple swipes over it. But that didn't even matter. Those markers are staying in place. <gasps> this is super exciting. And a huge, huge thumbs up for Artisa on this because that is something that's hard to find are paint pens that actually don't bleed when you varnish over them, especially for the rock painting craze going on. You know, it's just it's difficult to protect your stones with a varnish if whatever you use for paint smears everywhere afterwards. So my kids were kind of disappointed with a lot of the ones that we use. So these ones work really nicely. So all in all, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with these. And I'm not... Uh, there's not really anything that I'm disappointed about. I mean, they get great coverage. The colors are nice and bright. Again, you can change out the tips. So, you know, they also offer that guarantee. If you're not happy with the product, just contact them. So, it's kind of a win-win. And then also, it's another tool to add to our arsenal of painting. So, I'm kind of excited. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm pretty impressed with these acrylic markers, and I just want to say thank you to Arteza for letting me have a go at them. I'm kind of excited to see what the future holds. All right, everyone, have a great day. Be inspired. Mm -hmm.